What does it refer to? Kiki? What is the antecedent of there? Okay, candidate, each candidate. Now, what is the problem, the matchup problem between each candidate and there? In nope, it's not the spelling, boys. Does anybody see the error? Pronouns have to agree with their antecedents in several ways. Number, case, gender, those are the three ways. So what's the problem? Is it a, a matter of gender? Do we have gender issues here? Okay, we don't have a gender issue. Um, case, you don't have to worry about that, but it's, it's number. There refers to how many? Multiple. Candidate refers to? One. Okay, each one, right? All right, so that's not a match. We have a singular and we have plural, and that's the error. So you can decide if you want to focus on singular or plural. You just can't have them both. So Kiki, I'll let you decide. Do you want it to be singular or plural? Plural is actually the easiest way to fix it, okay? So how are you going to fix it now? We're going to keep the plural, and we need to change that to what? An apostrophe is used to make a contraction or possessive. I just want a plural. Just an S to what? Okay, you're going to make candidate become candidates, and then read it and see if that makes sense. Okay, does that sound right? What do you need to do to make it sound right? Guys, there's buzzing noises. Each candidate must report all of their income. What's wrong with that? The word each means one, right? How are you going to fix it? We're trying to make it plural. Huh? Nope, that's still singular. Take it, what do you think? You could, yeah. You could just take it out altogether, either way. Okay? Which one would you like to do? Take it out, okay, delete each. And then you're going to have to do, make another correction. Okay, exactly. Okay, so now the sentence reads, candidates must report all of their income regardless of where the money came from. Now, Bryant, do you know the next error? Okay. There is a Latin rule. Latin, by the way, is a dead language. We don't speak it anymore, which kind of irritates me that we kind of still play by this rule. Um, but there is a rule that in formal writing we still play by, and that is you may not use a preposition at the end of a sentence. Okay? Your prepositions, I've got a whole list of them over there. The end of the sentence, the word from, is a preposition. We don't like to end our sentences with prepositions, especially in our writing, okay? It's the way we speak. The English language does not have that rule. Shh. The English la language doesn't have that rule, um, but with formal writing, we still try very hard, if we can, to get take out the, the prepositions. So the question is, this makes sense to us, where the money came from. One way to fix it would be really weird. From where did the money come? Uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. It's weird, okay? It's too formal. But there is another way to fix this. Um, when, what's another way to say where it came from? It's the money's what? I think you did. Do you remember the word we used? The money's... 
right? Where does water come from? 